So today I'm going to demonstrate how to build a simple LED illumination circuit on the breadboard uh, using a, as few components as possible uh, and a 9-volt battery. So we have our standard small breadboard um, over here on the top. If we remember, we have the red or positive rail and the blue or negative rail. This is where we'll plug in the power. We have one resistor, one five millimeter blue LED, a nine volt battery, and a nine volt snap connector that we'll use for the power. And we're gonna use one little tiny uh, jumper wire here. You'll see where that goes in a minute. We'll start by taking the snap connector and getting it connected to the correct rails. Obviously, we wanna put the red wire into the red rail. Okay, now that we've got the uh, nine volt snap connector in, in place, we'll go ahead and put the LED in. Now, if we remember from electronics theory, LEDs are polarized, meaning the electricity flows one way through them and not the other. Um, in this case, the short leg here, that's called the cathode. We wanna put that towards the negative or the ground side in our, or the ground rail on our breadboard. So we'll pop them down there. You can see the cathodes towards the ground rail. Yeah. Next, we use this little short jumper wire. And we don't need to use this wire, but we'll just put it in here to keep the components a little separated so we can see them a little more clearly here on the board. So the next thing we'll do is put the resistor in. And I won't go into the discussion of how to determine the exact um, resistance amount necessary to protect your LED. In this case, uh, we don't really care. We're just gonna use a sufficiently large resistor. Uh, this is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. We're just gonna use it to protect our LED. We don't want it really bright anyway. So this is gonna go to the positive rail and then to our jumper to go back to the anode side of our LED. So you can see that's pretty simple there. Now we have the snap connector in place. So now we should be able to plug the battery in and if everything is connected correctly, we should get, uh, we should be able to illuminate our LED. And there we go. And here's what the schematic looks like. It's pretty simple. Thanks for watching.